Alright guys, what is up and welcome to my desktop. Yes, today we will be doing a tutorial type thing suggested by this person down below. They wanted me, or he or she wanted me, I'm going to assume he wanted me <laughs> to uh, do a tutorial on how to install uh, mods on Gary's Mod. And there's a quite a few ways to do this. And I will show you guys number one. Alright guys, the first step to do to get mods is the good old classic way. Move on over to uh, steamcommunity.com and uh, maneuver over to the Gary's Mod section of the Steam Workshop. Click right here for Workshop. And uh, you will see a, a page of mods and this is usually, uh, or this is what I put the links in the description for is to go to this website to get these. and. Uh, some people have been having some issues and someone told me that it's because I didn't put spaces b before my links which could be the problem and if so I feel like an idiot but anyway so basically you want to log in as you can see I'm logged in and you want to click on whichever mod you want you know very basic stuff here we got some Pokemon Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire uh, these look like uh, props yes they're not actually player models unfortunately so click subscribe right here and it'll be added to your subscription list. Maneuver over to Gary's Mod, and you guys will see down here that it is downloading. And give it a second, and go into add ons, and we'll see if it's here. And here it is in our game. Nice and easy, nice and quick, awesome. Works perfectly. But some people do not have the, uh, will not be able to do this for some reason. And if so, there is a alternative known as Gary'sMod.org. Now guys, this is basically the grandpa version of how to get mods. I don't know how to explain it, but this is basically the old way of how to do it. Uh, you still need to have a, a Gary's Mod on your Steam account. Uh, so, unfortunately, you know, you know, or unfortunately, uh, some people won't be able to get it if, say, like they don't have it on Steam, which I don't know why or even how that'd be possible unless you cracked it. But anyway, so basically, here's just some add-ons. And, uh, you, you know, you can just click on whichever one, like, how about this Barrett 50 cal? It's, it's a pretty cool looking weapon. I mean, who doesn't want to blow people's heads off with a Barrett 50 caliber rifle? You click download. And give it a second. Ah, and there it is. And it is downloading. So I will just wait for that to download. And there's no need because it's already done. Alright, so here it is. I have Jay-Zip open right here. So we have the Barrett 50 caliber. Let's look at the info. Uh, okay, so it's an add-on, and now I'm pretty rusty with how this works. But uh, I'm not even too sure if this would work with the new Gary's mod. But I'm guessing you put these folders in their respective areas, and it may or may not work, guys. I actually do not advise using this website. And since you have actually have to have it on your Steam account, then there's no use in using this. In if you could just use the workshop which will work and it's way easier you don't have to install anything into the folders or anything like that it all just works perfectly by clicking one button right here so I do not advise using this unless there's a specific add-on on here which in that case it could be difficult to install uh, it may not even work it may be broken with the current version of Gary's mod which is 13 so that is a huge issue so I'm just gonna exit out of this because Gary's mod.org is it, it's basically shut down. I mean, eventually, I, I guarantee that there, this mod is on here somewhere. So, if if I were you guys, I wouldn't even bat an eye at Gary's mod.org anymore. So, this is when things are gonna get a little bit dirty, I think. Now, before I go on, I want to put a disclaimer and say that I do not support pirating of any sort at all. And I know this could or may be the the way that people actually get mods on Gary's Mod from a cracked Gary's Mod but I do not advise to do it guys Gary's Mod is an amazing game and I've put at least like 900 hours into it and it is it is such so so much worth the money guys it's like 10 bucks uh, it does require some games but like I have all source games and it can you can attach those onto Gary's Mod and get even more add-ons and such but Gary's Mod is just $10. I think it's definitely worth it, guys. But just in case you have, like, 
some weird issue where you can't install mods from the workshop, then I guess this could be an alternative. I don't know why you'd even have that problem. But yeah, this is only for entertainment purposes, and I do not support piracy one bit, and you guys are on your own when it comes to this. So, uh, be cautious. Alright guys, so when you go here, it's called freesteam.net, and go to Gary's Mod uh, Downloads, you can go to all, 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 ugh, all add-ons, sorry, maps, weapons, backgrounds, models, save, wire pack, dupes, stargate, vehicle, sound, skins, other S2 NPCs, and scripts. So maneuver to whatever add-on you want, and uh, I see a pretty cool looking map here, we got Super Size Room version 2, which is on the workshop by the way, but since we're doing this, I'm going to show this off. Now there there will be uh, a ton of ads, so again, yeah, you be at your own risk because I do not advise doing this at all, guys, unless you absolutely have to do it. But anyway, uh, you will see the Gary'sMod.org URL, which is the website that I had opened previously. But it is out of date, and that's an ad fly link, and I'm not going to click that, because why would I? Anyway, so. Comet War approaching below. Okay, so I'm going to try to find a description. Alright, so right over here. Oops. I'm going to go back here real quick. So right here are the mirrors, guys. I must have missed them. <laughs> but you click on here to go to the mirrors. There's uh, three download mirrors. Wait for this ad fly, which uh, basically he shortens the link, and if he gets 10,000 visitors, he'll get $5. It's just a way to earn money, basically. But anyway, so here we have Rapid Gator, which is some sort of download site. And as you can see, file not found. Now, this will happen, guys, I'm assuming. A lot of these files are probably taken down for whatever reason, which is why I advise to not use this website. But... I'm going to try another and uh, see if we can get that to work. Alright, and again, ads everywhere. Okay, so I had to wait three seconds just to go into AdFly, and now I gotta wait five seconds just to skip this ad. <laughs> so it's pretty annoying, but if it's the only way... Alright, let's see if this even has it. So do slow download. Okay, so we're going to have to wait a whole minute, which is annoying, but I'll be right back when the minute's done. Alright guys, so now it is done, but uh, unfortunately it has horrendous, horrendous download speeds. So I'm going to have to wait five minutes and I'll be right back when that is done. Hmm, DLC quest. Interesting game. Huh, oh, uh, sorry, uh, the download took so long, uh, I, I, I literally forgot about it, to be honest. Anyway... It is done, and here we have the supersized room V2, and now I'm going to show you how to install it. Now just so you guys know, this works perfectly well for Gary'sMod.org add-ons, but a very simplified version. This is just a BSP file, which I'm going to copy, and now I'm going to maneuver over into the Steam drive. Steam, so basically you want to go to Program Files, want to go to Program Files, you'll find Steam. I have it in a different place, but it'll look just like this. Open it up. Go into Steam Apps right here. Go into Common. And find Gary's Mod and open up Gary's Mod. And then you want to click again, this, the same thing, Gary's Mod. And you will maneuver into the main file directory, at least so it seems. And uh, you will... It, it depends on the add-on. Uh, some of the add-ons will go here. But obviously this is for the workshop type add-ons. But since this is a map and it's a BSP, we're going to go into the maps file. And we're going to paste this. And here we go. BSP file in. Now let's cross our fingers and hope that it works. Alright guys, so now we're going to open up Gary's Mod real quick. And see if that worked. Hopefully it did. But there's no guarantees. Okay, so here we are in Gary's Mod. I hope you guys can see this. But, uh, okay, I'm just waiting for something. Ah, okay. So start new game, and we're going to try to find the map that we installed. Which could be anywhere, to be honest. Okay, this looks like it. 
And just so you guys know, you probably can't find it or probably take forever, but I guarantee you guys, I do not have supersized room installed from the workshop. So this does work, and by the way, it would not show up on the add-ons at, at all uh, either. You have to delete it inside the folder, uh, the same folder that you put it in. But yeah, anyway guys, so that's pretty cool that it actually works. So just maneuver over to Sandbox, sometimes it'll be in Other, and sometimes it'll be in uh, Counter-Strike. So here's Super Size Room V2, and we're going to start a game, just to, just to show you guys that it does load up, and it does work, hopefully. <laughs> There's no guarantee, but I'm going to assume. I, I feel pretty strong about it though, I have a very strong uh, assumption that it'll, be, it'll work. Let's see. So almost loading in. I do have quite a bit of add-ons, so it may take a, a second. Ah, and here we are. Now, uh, try to ignore the lag. I am in window mode. But uh, as you guys can see, Super Size Room V2. And ah, this brings back memories. But we're not going to delve into that. This is a tutorial. As you guys can see, works perfectly well. Go through the entire map. And yes, I got this off freesteam.org. And it works in Gary's Mod. Which... I do not want to say, but yes, it does, and or actually, I don't even know if it does. I never tried it, but it may work in a cracked Gary's mod, which again, I do not acknowledge, and I suggest you guys to buy the game, which because it's a, it's such an awesome game, it's definitely worth it. And uh, so yeah, guys, so this works perfectly as you guys can see. So I guess that pretty much wraps up the tutorial, guys. If you have any problems. Ask me down in the comments below with some suggestions uh, for future videos as well if you want. But primarily if you guys need help with something, just let me know and I will try to help you. I'll try my best or maybe someone in the comments will help you as well. So yeah guys, without further ado, don't forget to like this video if it helped you out. And subscribe for more videos like this. I actually do Gary's Mod videos on my channel if you didn't know, if you're a newcomer. Or if you're someone who's watched my channel for a while and if you wanted to know how to install mods, then there you go. So I'm glad I could help guys, uh, so yeah, again, thanks for watching, until next time, farewell.